Hi guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. You've probably heard about a very popular and very price compelling Cooler Master gaming peripheral combo set called Devastator and the new Octane in front of us has basically the same premise but stepping up a notch feature wise. This gaming gear combo also comes with a keyboard and a mouse, both having all the necessary features that will make them likable for gamers like the high sensitive Avago optical sensor on the mouse and 19 key anti-ghosting feature on the keyboard, but also the fact that it has 7 backlighting color options while Devastator has only 3. That's pretty much it for the front of the box, while on the back of it you can see only multilingual explanations of the features. In the box you'll get some user manuals and quick start guides. And nicely wrapped around in this package, we have the keyboard and the mouse itself. The design of the keyboard is really good looking, with very sharp and protruded lines at the bottom and top part of the keyboard. Also standing out of the bunch design-wise is the space bar key, which is unusually big and uneven. Speaking of the keys, these ones are membrane rubber dome, very soft and not too mushy, really pleasant to use. On the top part of the keyboard there are a couple of dedicated multimedia keys like volume up and down, forward and back, but without the mute button. With the combination of FN key and other keys you can lock down the VIN key to prevent accidental pressing or you can adjust the key input rate. The cable is decently long but are fortunately just a plain rubberized and not the braided one. Also you won't find any USB or audio pass through on the keyboard itself. On the back side of the keyboard you can see the almost carbon-like pattern bottom which is really cool looking, 4 rubber feet and of course 2 standoffs for putting the keyboard in an angle. Taking a look at the mouse you can notice that it's almost symmetrical in its physical design except for the side buttons so it is somewhat suitable for left-handed users. The rest of it looks really nice and modern taking a lot of designer cues from the keyboard. The mouse is also fairly decent in size but it will suit most of the users with medium to large hand size. Buttons on the top of it are for the on the fly changing of DPI preset levels and illumination colors, while the side ones are for moving back and forward on a web page, for example. Bottom side reveals the Avago optical sensor, capable of doing from 500 to 3500 DPI range, and a nice big CM Storm logo beneath it. As we said, one of the differences in comparison to the Devastator model is that Octane offers different colors of backlighting, 7 of them to be exact, very bright and evenly dispersed. You can cycle through colors with a single key, while using the FN key you can adjust the brightness with page up and down keys and with plus or minus keys near the backspace you can switch between breathing effect and adjusting the pulsating speed. The illumination on the mouse is pretty straightforward, we have few lit up spots around it and you can cycle between the colors and off state with this one dedicated button. Thank you once again guys for checking out our unboxing and review of the Cooler Master Octane gaming keyboard and mouse combo set. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can check out our other videos from before.